She chooses a place in Ibanda, right up in the hills. It's a very high uh, location, so it's a good place for coffee, Arabica coffee. And the people who have grown coffee in that area have done very well. Why? Because it's a highland area, the temperatures are right, the soils are good, and coffee will do well in that area. Arabica pays almost twice the price of Robusta coffee. So people at the bottom of the hill, lots of them grow coffee, but it's Robusta. And those who and Arabica will not grow in that area. So those who have gone up, it's worth the effort to go up the hill. Water, taking water up is a challenge, especially in the dry season. But if you look after your coffee, you should do well, and you should get a much better price. Make sure you treat your coffee well, and you should end up doing well. Anything else that grows in a highland area like in Chichuzi should do, like potatoes, Irish potatoes. Irish potatoes do well in a place where the temperatures drop at least for one hour to 16 degrees, normally in the night. Places that don't drop to 16 degrees, the taste of the potato will not be the same. That's why potatoes do well in Kabale, in Mbale, up in the hills, in the mountainous areas, and in a place like Chichuzi because the temperatures drop to 14 degrees at night. Even if it's only for one hour, that's enough. The taste of a potato will be different. And you'll always have a competitive advantage over people who are growing potatoes in Buganda or other parts of Uganda. So, if it's agriculture you want to do, that's what you should do. Even flowers, if you do flowers, flowers that are grown in highland areas like Chichuzi, the, the, the bud, the flower, let's say rosebud, will be so much bigger. They can't be as big in lowland areas. So all, all this is out of research. If you want to do tourism, the venue, the view up there is awesome. In Chichuzi, at the top of that hill, I've been there, you could actually see on a clear day Lake Albert. You see the lake, you see the rest of the Ibanda area, and it's amazing. So it's a fantastic location. The weather is very nice. It's so much cooler. You could do tourism there. Now, what would attract people there? I know there are beautiful trees, there are birds, but is that enough to drive the people there? The roads are a challenge, so you've got to think twice before you make that kind of investment. What else could you do there? Maybe a school. Why do many parents take their children to this school that was put in Kenya in a very cold area, one of the higher points in Kenya, a place called Molo? Because of the altitude, the weather is fantastic. The view is fantastic. There are no mosquitoes because of that altitude, so it's even healthier. So many people have been... This school was set up over 100 years ago, and traditionally has done extremely well. The school is expensive, but they can attract the right caliber of teachers and therefore also attract the right caliber of paying students. That's why they charge a premium, and that's why so many people have gone, so a good number of kids have gone through tourist school. It's a long drive. It's a hard way to get there, but it's excellent when you reach the top. And it changes your mindset. People who see things from the top of the hill, they kind of have a different view about life about almost everything, because they see things from above. That's why they say, in America especially, soar like an eagle. An eagle flies very high. Its view is different. It's almost arrogant. Its lifestyle is different. Its focus, its vision, its abilities are different, because it sees things from a vantage point. Unlike these carolis and other birds that we have down here that are just scavenging around the rubbish and picking up things, an eagle lives differently. So when you think from the top of a hill, you live at the top of the hill, your perspective about life is slightly different. Flying gives you a different perspective of what you're seeing. People live on top of any hill. If you look around the hills, the people want to go at the top of the hill. They pay a premium to be on top of the hill. Whether it is in, uh, in Hollywood, in California, in India, in the UK, people take that position. It's a vantage position. Castles are built up there. Kings have lived up there because it gives you a vantage position. Chichuzi is one of those places where you have a vantage. Only it is in the middle of almost nowhere, in the middle of the uh, western part of Uganda. But it's an advantage.